Hey there, David Risley here with Bob Markian Academy, and I want to just talk for a minute on why I do videos like this. Why do I do videos in the car? Why do I do videos without the complicated mic setup and everything? Well, obviously I do make videos like that every now and then, and if I were to make a video like this in my office, it would probably sound a hell of a lot better and probably look better too. Um, the reason I do it this way is for the sake of time. And, and the way that I look at it is that it's probably more important for me to be out there um, online with new content than it is for me to sit there and worry about what the, the form of the video. And obviously, I'm, I'm not going to say it doesn't matter. Obviously, video quality does matter. Sound quality matters quite a bit. But you don't want to let any of that stuff become a stop to creating content in the first place. So with that in mind, that's why I create videos like this. Obviously, I have a little suction cup deal holding up my phone so I don't have to sit there and do anything unsafe. I have my, my eye on the road and I can keep both my hands on the wheel for the most part anyway. Um, and I do it because the drive it's usually um, useless time where I'm just sitting here listening to the radio or something and it, I might as well take one or two of my drives uh, during the week and record a few videos uh, off of my iPhone. So that's why I do it this way and it's, it's really just a matter of not letting anything become a stop. Um, and you know I do have mic setups and stuff that would work with the iPhone but at the end of the day it's, it just adds more complexity for me to have to get all that stuff hooked in and get a lapel mic on me and everything. It'd be, it's easier just to do what I'm doing right now. So anyway, that's why. And my only advice to you would be, you know, I'm not going to sit here and tell everybody to, to make car videos. Everybody's got a little bit of a different uh, sense of whether they should do that or not. I personally don't think there's any problem with it. Um, you know, as long as you're the type of person who has a lot of awareness and, you know, keeps, you know, you've got the setup and not, you know, put yourself at risk. But um, the, the main motto here is just to not let uh, your concerns about technology and quality and all that stuff becomes a, a, a paralysis to doing content in the first place. It's much better to put out some form of content to your audience than to, than to do none at all. It really, it's really that simple. So anyway, that's why I do them.